Hello and welcome to our coverage of the WNBA on 2K Sports. And in our matchup tonight, we'll see the Seattle Storm going up against the Chicago Sky. In the booth with Tim Swartz and Brian Benefitemi, I'm Blake Suniga, and we're glad to have you along for the ride. Two strong front courts. The bigs will surely be in focus tonight. What should we look for? Who controls the boards in a game with elite front courts? You want to limit second chance points? Well, I'm interested in how much these front courts create. They're going to get so much attention. So how's their ball movement? Can they set up others for open shots? Now here's Parker. Outside quickly. Pass to Vandersloot. Just four to shoot. From deep. Storm with the rebound. Sometimes she could hit that deep three, but it's really not a great look for it. Not a very well advised shot. No, uh, I mean, no, no. I mean, even for her, that's too far out. A nice conclusion to a good looking possession. Coach has got to be happy about that one. Pick by Parker. Pass to Vandersloot. Now Dolson. Four seconds left, and she lays it in. Another reason you want Dolson on your team. She can turn a missed basket into points. Tremendous effort on the boards. Now here is Lloyd. Stewart, Parker defending, and it's Stewart missing. To the paint. Parker is good. Using A-plus awareness to find the wide-open teammate. The Shields doesn't mind distributing. And stolen by Dolson. And that one's good. Textbook. Nice pass. Nice catch. Nice shot. And the Storm with possession. The four-point game. Stewart. Parker defending. Lloyd up top. Bird. Shoots over Vandersloot. It's good, and she makes her first shot of the game. Just taking what the defense gives her, Sue Bird operates well in that mid-range area. Outside to Shields. Laid in with a nice Shields touch off the glass. Superb assist. Superb assist. She was crafty, creative, and the ultimate teammate on that play. You're not going to find many better passers in the game than Vandersloot. I mean, she is a coach. I mean, this staff just loves having her out there. Someone who can run the offense and get the most out of all of her teammates on the floor. Now here's Vandersloot. Right side to Shields. Sweet little floater. Well, inside, the Shields is just so persistent. Refusing to back down and gets herself a shot. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Seattle trailing here. And when it comes to Vandersloot, she's got plenty of records to back up her point guard credibility. Yeah, she set the WNBA record for assists in a single season. And she's actually led the league in assists a bunch of times. She can also fill it up on the points as well. If a defense isn't careful, she can easily drop 25 on them. They're off and running. They've knocked down four of their first five. Vandersloot with it. Copper outside. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Pass to Endor. Let's it fly from 18. And Samuelson pulls it down. A real defensive lapse there. She's not a player you can leave open for a jump shot. They're lucky she didn't punish him there. Well, it's really almost like an automatic two points. Put him up on the board anytime she gets the ball that close to the basket. The defense has to battle to keep her out of that position in the first place, or it's going to be a long day for them. Now here's Copper. Vandersloot with it. Picked up by Canada. 
Just five on the clock. Stevens the screen. And so Storm. she draws the foul on the shot. And trips behind to shoot two. First personal foul, teams first. When Brown picks first the shot, foul. she commits. Defense isn't going to scare her off with some contact. And this is her first free throw of the game. At the line for two. And the first one falls for her. The Sky making a switch here. She hits both from the strike. The ninth overall pick by Connecticut in 2018. Remember, Lexi Brown scored under two points per game during her rookie year. However, a trade, a change of scenery before the 2019 season has ignited Brown's career. Chicago leading. Vandersloot left side. Back to Brown. That comes off the assist by Courtney Vandersloot. One of the league's more respected floor generals. If you're open, Courtney Vandersloot will find you. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. And it's out of bounds to the Storm as Seattle retains possession. That pass had a little bit too much heat on it for her to make a clean steal. Yeah, that was going to be a tough catch for either of them. I mean, these are basketball players, not wide receivers. Pass to Magbegor. Back to Stewart. A nice shot by Magbegor. Magbegor. Just a huge hole in the defense, and she didn't waste any time going through it. Vandersloot outside. Here's Stevens. Over Stewart. No good That's trying to beat the, the buzzer. The and at the end of one, a closely contested game so far. It's the sky up by two. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in a moment. Get ready for the dance squad. Neither team able to jump out ahead as we begin the second quarter. And when you consider how the sky are doing, guys, what are your thoughts? They've made the most of their fast break chances here in the early going. Yeah, tie your shoelaces because they can run and they've done a good job filling the lanes in transition. It's been a little while since they've been in the lead. And that's why this is such an important possession for them. Russell misses from close range. Those chances, usually they're two points for her. The D, I guess, did just a, enough to bother her. And here are the Storm now. Trailing by two. Pass to Canada. Bird guarded by Dolson. Canada. Allie Quigley with the block. And she's able to get it back. Jordan. Canada with the bucket. I mean, they're beginning to just fall apart defensively, especially on the interior. Yeah, they're crumbling like a cookie right now. And that's four straight field goals they've allowed from within touching distance of the rim. Two points, that one goes in. Because of Parker's handle and quickness offensively, she's incredibly effective on the drive. One of those generational Jordan, players Canada. every GM is looking for. Candace Parker has been a dominant presence in the WNBA from the moment she stepped on the floor. Day one on both ends of the floor. Dolson, guarded by Russell. Dolson with the screen. Here's Quigley. And Sue Bird with a swat. Pass to Canada. Left side, Stewart. And here is Lloyd. Bird outside. Russell inside. Parker defending. And the basket by Lloyd. Some stars spend most of their energy on offense, but not Candace. A regular on all defensive teams and one of the best rebounders we've ever seen. Plus, she works as a studio analyst. Talk about a well-rounded basketball talent. Now here's the shield. Gets a three-pointer to fall. This is a newer part of Parker's game. We've seen her three output more than double over the course of her career. 
Canada with it. And Parker picks her up defensively. A nice shot by Stewart. You love her, her presence on this team as a scorer. It has a calming effect for them. She's a fallback option whenever they need one. Changing it up here. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Ebert defended by Stewart. the glass to finish the layup. And it's the Storm with the ball. They trail by one. Down low. Tipped. Stolen by Ruthie Heber. To the inside. Well-timed pass and goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Yeah, and you know, assists aren't particularly Quigley's bread and butter, but she shows great poise in finding the wide open shooting. And stolen by Diamond to Shields. To the middle, Copper. It's good, and the assist that time for Diamond to shoot. Good possession, resulting in the easy one down low. Outside Canada, inside, and that Rihanna one's good. Stewart. Stewart. You know, quite simply, Jordan few Canada. players make better decisions than Jordan Canada. Obviously, the right choice there. Ebert outside. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. Dolson guarded by Russell. Five to shoot. And it's Dolson missing. If she can get to the rim, she'll usually turn it into points, but the defense stood tall there. Stephanie and the Hunt. shot goes down. Here's Quigley. Wyatt so far offensively searching for her first points of the game. Copper drives in, and there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul, shot misses, and she'll shoot two. Shooting for and Chicago. Seattle gets called Kalea for the foul. Copper. Well, in the 2020 bubble, Kalia Copper became one of the league's most improved players, averaging 15 points per game, which was more than double her previous career high. And the first one drops. You know, Kalia Copper is the kind of versatile player a team can really count on. She's always there and ready to deliver, especially when it comes to points. And good on the second, so she makes both. The storm trail. Pass to Samuelson. Talbot. Russell with it. Over to the left wing. From 12 feet out. Misses off the left iron. And so it's Chicago with it. Copper with the ball. Picked up by Canada. Offensive board. The Shields can't hit. Six seconds separating the shot and game box. Out to the right wing. Pass to Talbot. Canada. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. The drive by Diamond to Shields. And Samuelson pulls it down. Here's Talbot. Second. The pressure on her in those circumstances was massive. Pressure? What pressure? You cannot rattle her no matter what the situation is. And that'll do it for the first half. Game tied. Stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter going.
it's been a back and forth game with no ground given through the first half. Third quarter getting started here. Parker with a strong contribution so far in this one. Her play in the first half was very disciplined, very efficient. Her shot selection was consistently excellent. That's right, and uh, whether it's been from mid-range or in tight, she's taking only what the defense is giving her and not trying to do too much. The third quarter are now beginning. Both sides looking to pull away in the last half of the game. Russell, guarded by Dolson. Here's Stewart, and she converts the layup. Come on, most players missed that one after contact. Then again, Stewart, she's not most players. Pass to Parker, outside to Shields. Here's Vandersloot. Now here is Dolson, guarded by Russell. Out to Vandersloot. Shoots over Russell. Vandersloot, no good. Seattle leading. Stewart, Parker defending, and Stewart gets it to go. There's a pattern taking shape. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Yeah, four of their last five baskets have been of exactly that variety. Now here is Dolson. Six points for her. Quigley. Excellent D there from Mercedes Russell. And they have certainly been looking locked in offensively. They sure have, staying aggressive and playing in control. Shots good by Samuelson. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Such a pretty pass. I don't have an exact Chicago, number for you, but I can tell you it's, we've seen it a lot. Okay, let's just say that. Strictly using assists as the measuring stick, they've been by far the better team. Get ready for the Deer Squad! Now into the lineup for Chicago. Ruthie Heber, Alexi Brown. Vandersloot, guarded by Bird. Out to Vandersloot. Brown. That's good, and so Courtney Vandersloot gets the assist. You just can't let Brown get her feet set. Shoot comfortably off the pass. She will bury those all night. Get ready for the third squad! Third quarter of play with just over one and a half minutes gone by. Pass to Bird. Outside Lloyd. Over Brown. But they get it back. And here's Samuelson. And the score, another three. three points. One of the purest strokes in the game. Samuelson, a feared player from beyond the arc. Brown, covered by Lloyd. Three-pointer diamond to Shields. And again, it's Chicago with a three. Only took them a few seconds to answer the three ball at uh, one end with their own. A three-point battle starting to take shape here. Now here is Stewart. She's got ten. Count yeah, that one. Stewart. Another Assisted bucket from Stewart, Jewel who's having Lloyd. a nice game offensively. She's a well-rounded player. Now here's Brown, covered by Lloyd. Parker's shot is off. And it's the Storm with the ball. Six-point lead, Samuelson. The shot's good on the assist by Jewel Lloyd. Tremendous find by Lloyd. She's really a combo guard, but she has point guard savvy. Senses when her teammates are open. Now here's Vandersloot. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. Two minutes. From deep. What are they thinking, leaving her with all that space out there? Don't they know that that's pretty much a layup for her? It's stolen by Heber. Pass to Brown. Takes the three. Gets it to go from downtown. 
That's a dozen straight points coming off the yeah. race. Yeah, they're having free reign from beyond the arc. The defense is, I'm going to go out on a limb and say it, non-existent. Get ready for the death squad! Storm substitution. Here's Canada. Samuelson. Pass to Magbegor. Soft Eddie touch Magbegor. off the glass. Yes, They've had assists now on Samuelson. their last three baskets. Everybody always thinks it's passing that gets you assists, but also their movement off the ball, it's created those opportunities. Hits it from three-point range. Triples keep on falling, guys. Three in a row now. These defenders can't stay so soft on the perimeter. Pass to Talbot. And here's Canada. Here's Stewart. And they pick up two. That's some more rugged play from them inside. They have a decent edge in rebounds. And that hard work on the boards needs to continue. That could be what swings this game. Now here is Hebert. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Stevens, defended by Stewart. Five on the clock. Here's Copper. No good that time. And the Storm going the other way now. Here's Magdegor. Vandersloot defending. Canada with the bucket. Their interior defense has been dismal. They're losing the battle in the paint. Three seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Copper. Here's Stevens. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. I admire how Stevens relentlessly crashes the boards. It's, it's pretty special for a young player. Yeah, she's found a rhythm here in the third quarter, and you can sense her confidence. Everything she puts up for long range seems like falling. And as we end the third quarter, a great game. Both teams playing well. It's the Storm, leading by six. We're going to step aside for just a second, but join us right back here for the start of quarter number four next. It's the fourth quarter. We've got a great game on our hands as we welcome you back. Fourth quarter action getting started. The sky trail. Pass to the shields. Dolson with the screen. Pass led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Scoring inside, it's about a lot of things. To me, touch is most important. And Dolson knows how to get the ball in the hoop. Here's Samuelson. Bird gets the bucket. Well, I certainly haven't hesitated to let it fly from deep here in the second half. And I don't have a problem with that either, Tim. I mean, as long as they're falling, right? Just don't get too conservative trying to milk the lead. Now, here is Stevens. Shoots off the step back, and Two another points. basket in Chicago. There's a versatility to Stevens' jump shot that you don't ordinarily see in players her size. Magdador, guarded by Dolson. Here's Samuelson. The shot's good on the assist by Jewel Lloyd. Can they make some sort of defensive adjustment? Because guess what? She is killing them from three-point range. And even when they have closed out on her, she's still knocking them down. I mean, this is just an unbelievable performance we're seeing right now. Get ready for the death squad! The sky makes a switch here. Candace Parker! Seattle leading. Pass to Samuelson. Lloyd. Samuelson covered by DeShields. Good on the bucket. They're efficient scoring. A nice lift to their offense tonight. And 
Sloot outside to Shields. So she gets the whistle. Contact on the way up. Two shots. Next personal foul. Teams It's on Mercedes Russell. Well, I really like watching the Shields when she forces the issue. When she's in close like this, she should be looking to score. And the first one at the line is good. Third pick in the 2018 WNBA draft. The Shields went on to have a terrific rookie campaign. That's also good, so she hits them both. Here's Seattle. Six point game. Magbagor goes up and lays it in Magbagor. nice and easy. Unstoppable offense for both teams. I love the pace of this game. Yeah, the pace is only picking up the deeper we get into this game. This has absolutely been a fun one to watch. And now here's Quigley. Pass to Parker. Over Lloyd. Chicago again missing. Well, controlling the boards, they're plus five in that category. Yeah, and look, rebounding, it's not a glamour stat, Super. but you look at the scoreboard and you see the result. Oh, we're seeing the shots dropping for them very well now. Yeah, this has been an extremely efficient second half for them up to this point. Their coach has to be happy. Now here's Parker. Stolen. And it's the storm on the break. Out to the left wing. Pass to Magbagor. Now Russell. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. And will shoot two at the line. It's going to go on Courtney Vandersloot. Shooting for Seattle. Mercedes Russell. At the line for two. The first one falls. I think Russell has a promising future in this league. It's clear that she wants to keep getting better. And I think she will. So she gets them both. Here's Parker. To the middle. Here's to Shields. And it's Seattle with the rebound. Stewart covered by DeShields. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two Lloyd minutes. with the three. Good. Two and Brianna Stewart gets the assist. Decisive. Time it's a quality for any good shooter. Lloyd has it. Just get the ball, fire away. Get ready for the Death Squad! Here's Vandersloot. D right on her. Dolson sets the screen. Kicks it out to DeShields. To halt the run. That's her six make from the field. She's taken nine shots and missed only three. A hard worker who understands the nuances of the game. DeShields loves to learn and is comfortable running the pick and roll. Now here is Lloyd. Back to Bird. Samuelson. Russell. Guarded by Dolson. Right at the free throw line. And it's Seattle scoring again. And with that basket, you'd have to think this lead is safe. I don't know if I'd call it 100% secure, but at least 98%. I'll go 99.2. Pass to Stewart. Brianna Stewart draws the double. Here's Samuelson, covered by DeShields. Now here is Lloyd. Now Samuelson. Now Russell, guarded by Dolson. Four on the clock. The high post shot. They get the rebound. And you can count it. She'll go to the line with a chance to make it three. It's just so hard to stop Stewie. She has the strength. To, to take the contact and get the basket. At 6'4", that's not fair. 
The Storm making a switch here. There you go, baby. Now here's Copper. Guarded by Canada. Pass to DeShields. To copper down low, Dolson and she uses the glass on the layup. She did so well to lead her teammate right to the ideal spot. That's the kind of playmaking coaches like to see. Outside Canada, pass to Talbot, back to Canada. From deep three-point range, no good. And so Seattle takes That's this one NBA. by a big margin. And this one was all again, over well before the final buzzer. Team. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about, but they never got it. Yeah, I mean, they rolled to this one. They made it look simple and efficient performance at both the offensive and defensive ends. That'll do it for our broadcast, everyone.